All right, welcome back. And I am your host, Charles. I've been taking you on this ex- exciting journey of discovering the world of coding. Yes, and we've tried to make this really simple uh, by using the Scratch programming language, which is a visual language that uses blocks, very colorful blocks, to build uh, uh, programs that tell uh, the sprites what to do, how to act, uh, uh, and many other things. Now, if you've not been on this journey with us and you're just starting, well, I'll encourage you to watch the other videos in in this series and subscribe to the channel um, join our Facebook group and you never miss a new uh, uh, video whenever it, it uh, comes up okay so why are we learning how to code basically it helps us with skills uh, that uh, uh, could span across every field of endeavor every field of human endeavor coding is very much like um, uh, numeracy or mathematics uh, uh, but I could say it's kind of easier all right uh, you have to think about why you're doing whatever it is you're doing okay for instance why would you have a block a set x to minus 250 block here why would you have a repeat block here all right so we explore all these reasons in um, the videos uh, in this series so so far we've been looking at how to animate our sprites to make them do a very basic animation uh, which is walking all right now, uh, the name of my project, I've called it Storytime. Uh, I need to save it. So to save a project, you need to go to File and click on Save to your computer. Okay, because I already have it, when I click on Save, it says it already exists. You want to replace it? And I say yes. Cool. All right. So let's uh, uh, pick up from where we left off. When we click on Go, our cat seems to be moving pretty fast right so it looks like it's running so we need to slow our cat down now to slow uh, animations down a bit we would use the weight block all right so I'm going to put the weight block right here and see let's see how things go now okay all right now if you notice it's now kind of slow and we can almost follow his movement okay so you know what I'm going to do I'm going to change the value here now guess what I'm going to reduce the number of seconds all right so you know what I'm going to do I'm going to split it in half first so I will have zero point okay let's see how this plays out when I click on the green flag okay now 0 0.5 is pretty nifty okay maybe I should try 0 0.3 all right and see how it plays out okay all right so you can see the smaller the number of seconds the more natural his walking seems to be all right and that's really what happens with animations okay so we want to create an animation that looks real great and we will reduce the, the number of seconds in between when we uh, move it and change the next costume and remember um, animations really are animations because our eyes see um, separate uh, drawings or pictures as if they're one all right so that that animation is really a trick if you like 
now um i will need to uh take our animation to the next level now we could make this happen on its own okay so that means our cat could get to this point and come back here get to this point and come back here all we need to do is to make it happen over and over again now scratch has given us a very cool control to do that and that's our favorite forever loop okay so i'm going to put the forever loop right here so it goes over all of them and when i drop it see how it goes okay so my cat will go from this end to the other end and when it's done it's going to come back and do the same thing that really makes it cool i could just watch it do all that by itself okay see that so that's that's a cool animation right okay so let's give it a backdrop how about that let's look for a backdrop something that looks natural like the cat is walking um, across okay so which of these should we use okay all right let's choose colorful city all right now we need to bring our cat down so it looks like it's walking across the street okay all right now you know what we're doing we're changing the y coordinates of our cat if you look very well the y coordinate formerly was minus 10 okay when i brought it down bringing it down would make it to be minus one to four now take a look at this see that so our cat seems to be walking on the road and then we could we could tell a story with this uh, our cat saying something um, from time to time that way we would uh, create uh, uh, a cool animation yeah if you if you say now we could add another sprite and make that sprite walk and change the speed okay now what we could do is simply go to the sprite that has different um costumes okay so that's avery walking now if you notice this also avery but avery is not walking avery seems to be explaining something uh anina is dancing okay uh amon is I don't know what he's doing. Dunking or something. Avi is not working. So let's choose Avery walking. That pretty much makes things easy for us. So we could set Avery here. Okay. And our cat is there. Now the cool thing about the walking code is we could duplicate it, you know, just exactly as it is. And um, we could make Avery. Uh, 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 start working as soon as possible okay so let's see Avery seems to have her own code now all right let's see how it goes okay so Avery is seems to be working at the same rate with our cat we could make Avery work a little slower okay for us to do that we're going to we're going to make some modifications to our code uh we will explore those modifications in detail uh very soon now what modifications could we make to Avery's code to make her work a little slower remember um, the total distance for working across the screen is 500 okay so i could make a very walk a little slower by changing this to five and then changing this to a hundred all right and let's see how this is going to play out join me in the next video see ya